waiting for you to be done reading the paper. Well, I'm waiting for you to stop being <laughs> weird. <laughs> You're gonna wait a long time for that. Ah, it's never gonna happen! Stop. Stop being weird, she says. <laughs> oh, man. This is the Green Dream Project. How's it going everyone? Jim here. And Jessica. And we're here today to talk about garden stuff. Garden stuff. Woo! All right. People are saying, finally, GDP's talking about the garden. Coming at you. Now, what are we talking about today, exactly? I want to talk about my plans to build a pest-proof garden. Pests are a major problem for gardens, no matter where you are. City, country, gardens are basically unnatural. An unnatural quantity of edible food in one location, so it's gonna attract a lot of unwanted creatures looking to get that food, am I right? Yeah, it's like you're putting out a sign that says like, all you can eat buffet right here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're never gonna not have pests. I've grown things indoors and all of a sudden there's a bunch of spider mites on it. You guys know about spider mites, don't you? Oh, hate them. So pests are everywhere and it's not about, you know, sterilizing everything and not, you know, having any living thing touching your <laughs> garden, but it's about keeping things in check, keeping things in balance to where it's not a problem. You can see the beginnings of the garden that we're building right now. And I want to do a video series about the garden and looking at the pest issue from a, kind of a holistic approach, a multi pronged approach. Because, you know, digging around over here already, I'm finding lots of living things, different caterpillars, grubs, and things that I'm sure would love to pig out on a nice lush garden. But it got me thinking, you know, they're already here, and they were here before I was here. And, you know, they have just as much a right to live as I do. So it's a matter of finding a way to live with these other animals that are also hungry. No, no. Where's their, where's their parcel ID number? <laughs> they didn't buy this land. I bought this land. Get off my land, bugs. They have no concept of <laughs> money or title deeds and, hmm. sorry. So uncivilized. So today I just want to talk about kind of a basic first step in planning out how to uh, hopefully prevent a lot of problems with pests and kind of how different ways that I'm gonna consider dealing with the pests. I hope you like this series. It's our multi-prong attack. Defense. Defense. We're not, a, we're not on the end of the attack, we're on the defense. <laughs> and we're gonna use their own strengths against them. Sorry. So probably over the next six months, you can see how this all pans out as we plant our, our garden and see what happens. Permaculture judo. All right. Oh. <laughs> no judo may actually be involved in the protection of the garden. But permaculture there will be. <laughs> Yay! They say knowledge is power. If knowledge is power, then a god am I. Any idea of a movie? You know what movie that is, leave that down below. So the first thing I did was I planned out some of the plants that I wanted in the garden. Now if you know what you want, you can have a pretty good idea of what kind of pests there is gonna be. Yeah. Because you're gonna attract them. <laughs> <laughs> like a beacon. Their favorite food is gonna be there. From there, it's pretty easy. If you're growing cabbage, just Google cabbage pests. And you get a list of different you know, insect pests, of course, Depending on where you live, the pests might be different. Around here, some of the larger animals that could be an issue 
our, um, we have mule deer, we have an open range situation, so we have cattle coming through occasionally. What else do we have? Javelinas. Jack rabbits, little cottontail rabbits. Mm -hmm. Mice. Mice, rats. Kangaroo rats, which I found out yesterday is neither a kangaroo nor a rat. Mm. There's also pocket mice, which are not mice either. Get out of here. Are they pockets? <laughs> They're not pockets. <laughs> they have pockets. What else do we have? Bugs? Lots of bugs. It's like aphids, white flies, uh, caterpillars, grasshoppers, crickets. Insects galore. And small birds. You may have heard of integrated pest management. Basically, you're, you're using different methods to try to suppress pest populations. One method is what I'm working on here. Uh, it's a physical barrier. I'll talk about that more probably in the next video in this series. But physically keeping those animals out. Physical, physical. I want to no. get physical. Let me hear you by the toe. I got that in my head because I used that on one of my Instagram stories. <laughs> ah, it's in there. Yeah, so like any kind of fence or barrier that keeps things out. Another thing we're looking at doing is biological controls. Like, for example, attracting predators of these pests into the garden and then keeping them there. Uh, even in our greenhouse, you know, you've seen a lot of the, uh, a lot of aphids and stuff like that, but there are a ton of ladybugs out here ready to munch down on them. So there's something else called cultural control. That's going to be like, it could be your plant choice. Mm. Maybe you choose a variety of plant that's more resistant to pests. Or maybe you choose a plant that repels pests. Are you talking GMOs? No. No. Also, just taking care of your plants and making sure they're healthy goes a long way to protect them. Pests are, are more likely to prey on a weaker plant. Soil health. That is exactly what I was going to say next. Oh. <laughs> if you want healthy plants, you need healthy soil. Yeah, uh, healthy plants start with healthy soil. You start uh, feeding the soil, getting the uh, organic matter in there, start improving the soil health, those plants are going to be healthier and much more pest resistant. And if they do get nibbled on, they'll probably be more likely to survive. Here's another thing How about like, I don't know if you could call it like a psychological control. Psychological <laughs> warfare? Oh, you are getting devilish. Sort of like Bugs Bunny, right? You played a lot of psychological warfare. That's true. You know, if you ever go back and watch Bugs Bunny cartoons, and he did some pretty nasty stuff to people. You never cross Bugs Bunny. He was devious. Yeah. Do you think you could keep Bugs Bunny out of a garden? Oof. That's tough. Maybe. Uh -huh. He's always making the wrong turn at Albuquerque, so maybe if you put like an Albuquerque <laughs> sign up or something like that, he'd completely turn away from the garden. Mm. He found know. his weakness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I was gonna say like you can confuse pests by your plant placement, planting a variety of things so that it's not just like an arrow pointing toward the plants they want to eat. So it's less it's like of a, a beacon. Yeah, having different plants might act as sort of physical barriers to it makes it more difficult for them basically. Mm, planting a lot of similar plants in straight rows. It's going to make things a little more convenient for us, but it also makes it way more convenient for pests to eat them. So pest proof in the garden. A lot of different strategies. We're gonna be employing quite a number of these things on our own garden. Should be exciting to see that develop. And we're gonna bring the series talking about these multifunctional ways where we can set up our gardens, our growing spaces to be more pest resistant. So join us along. I think it's going to be very exciting. She's going to bring you a lot of information. I'll keep talking about Bugs Bunny. And it'll, we'll all have a good time.
All right, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like Bugs Bunny. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so because you don't want to miss what we're talking about. Share this with a friend or two because they want to know a multi-pronged strategy to protect their growing spaces. Leave a comment down below. We want to know you stopped by. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. You can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll catch you in the next video. Later, y'all. Bye. It's my new clothes. The eye slap. Ah!